Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Gent Sense, but for now, we ain't friends. Don't come around here no more asking for help. You ain't gonna get it from me because I'm gonna be roasting your collections again. I've got on my roasting hat. That's that's what this is. So in case you are unaware of what the roast pertains, basically you, my friend, sit in your collections to me and you put in the uh, the title of the email collection roast or something like that. And then I will baptize you in the flames of the roast. Usually though, it, it's pretty hard for me to, to be like that mean, but we're gonna give it a go. So let's jump into it. Let's get to roasting. So as I said, if you wanna take place in a future roast, feel free to send me an email, gentsenseonline at gmail.com and just put in there a fragrance roast, collection roast, something like that. Just so when I type in roast into my Gmail, it pulls it up. And then maybe I'll feature you in a future video. Shout out to every single person that does that. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you. Also, my new fragrances, including Terra Nova, which does not deserve a roast because it smells so good. Oops, I was aiming for the table over here. I missed. Those are available now. Uh, Blue Ridge, Terra Nova, Jet Black Enigma. Use the code GENTSENSE on michaelmalool.com if you want to get yourself a bottle, and you should. Uh, there's a link in the description. Let's get to roasting. Okay. Da, 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 da. So I, I just uh, typed in roast. I have not looked at any of these beforehand, so wish me luck. It's always the best when you, you don't look at things ahead of time, and then when you check, everything is just like, hey, okay, what am I gonna roast then? First off, we have one from Anthony Mimna. Hey Ash, I'm a huge fan. You'd be very happy to be included in a roast or show off of fragrance collections. I started just a few months ago and I was wondering where you think I may be lacking. Well, looking at your photo, looks like you're lacking a bed. Everybody knows the rules. Put the fragrances on the bed, then take your picture. You went halfway there. You got a, a blanket. Looks like a nice little fleece one. Good for the holidays. And you just tossed your fragrances on top of there. That doesn't count. Now let's take a look at what you actually have. It looks like you have a collection of baby bottles. I don't know, it's like something is wrong with my vision here. It looks like half your bottles are 30 mil in size, like little rinky dink bottles. It's like you said to yourself, I want this, but not exactly. Although maybe that's the true big brain way to go about things because you're not gonna even use this many fragrances. Aria. So I mean, a 30, 30 mil size is not too bad. I mean, who, who would have just, too many fragrances that they'll never use in their entire life. That's, uh, let's keep it moving. Overall, I can't hate too much on the selection of your fragrances because most of these are just your run of the mill scents that most people typically would go for. Uh, I mean, Explorer Ultra Blue is absolute trash and, and gives me lung cancer. So I would throw that out unless you picked it up for like $15, $20, then I guess I'm not gonna hate on you for that. Fear nothing, American Eagle. That's grotesque. No, that that doesn't deserve a place in any collection. You can just jettison that into the sun. I don't mind the baby bottle of replica because if you're gonna get a baby bottle, at least get something that's worth having and that one is okay. And truthfully, most of the other things that you have are all right. I would say that's the best thing I can say about your collection. It's all right. Up next, we have Kobe Shock Roast my mini collection. Okay. It is indeed a mini collection. You got a whole whopping seven fragrances there. And uh, it looks like the Versace Porome you stole from just a, a discount bin somewhere. Basically you picked it out of the trash. Your little Versace uh, Medusa fell off the front there. It bottles naked. I'm hoping it's a real one and not a, a rip off fake, but I'm, I'm assuming it is real. I mean, because it's not that expensive. The real question here is, did you get the Tom Ford ombre leather by using my big brain hack from Sephora? Basically, you can go onto Sephora's website, you can buy a little sample set of a bunch of different fragrances and you get a, a card inside where you can pick a fragrance for free and ombre leather is one of them. That's what I did. I'm a cheapskate. So that's how I, I got my ombre leather on the cheap. I did a video on it. And this is the second collection in a row now that has Davidoff cool water. Really love seeing that come back into style. Uh, essentially though, I don't think it's coming into style so much as it is people looking for cheap stuff and they go onto a website like FragranceNet for the first time and they go like, wait a second, I know that. I've seen that at Walmart before. 15 bucks? Ah, I'll take it. Cool water is uh, pretty good though. Kobe, your mini collection is okay. I've seen worse. John Douglas, roaster review. 
I don't care. And then he lists the fragrances within. Let's uh, let's take a peek. Yeah, it looks like your camera is from uh, 2006. You might want to get a newer phone. It says it was sent from your iPhone, your iPhone one. But let's uh, let's press on. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me here is that a lot of your fragrances are not exactly what we'll call compliment getters. Now that's not to say that you're devoid of compliment getters. You do have some obviously in there. You've got your Lana Wee, you've got your Tobacco Vani, you have your Bomb of Spice, you have uh, the One Dior Homme 2020 Explorer. But then once you get past that, it's like you're dabbling in the dark arts a little bit. You're getting yourself some, uh, some niche fragrances, some indie fragrances that are not exactly, how do we put this? Mass appealing. I don't know what that was. But. Encre Noir, you've got a nice little Montal in there. Dark Aoud. And then of course, you have your imaginary authors in the corner. And uh, I gotta say, I'm a fan of imaginary authors. I'm right there with you, dude. I love the brand. K Partake, Memoirs of a Trespasser, both of which you have, fantastic. The City on Fire, smells like bacon to a lot of people, but honestly, who out there smells bacon and thinks it smells bad? That's a heavenly scent profile. So uh, count me as a fan of a city on fire. You too, obviously you own a bottle. I gotta say though, I do love how with your fragrance collection here, you have this clear delineation where you go from, let me get some mass appealers to let me gross people the frig out. You, my friend, are walking on uh, that that tightrope in the sky. And on one side, you have mass appeal. On the other side, you have animalic, poopy, barnyard dude. Which side will you fall on? I'm just playing, you're already going to the dark side, I can tell. Don't get me wrong, I got a little dark side in me too. Wait, that sounded really weird. <laughs> Nikola Jovanovic. Uh, I wanted to share my collection and a handmade shelf with you and the people watching your channel. Feel free to roast everything you dislike about the collection. Thank you, and greetings from Serbia. Well, greetings from the US. Hope Serbia is treating you well. I feel like this was an excuse for you just to show off your very clean, modern, and aesthetic shelf. My shelf is aesthetic. It has LEDs. Yours doesn't, suck it. But yeah, it's it's very clean looking. So you, you get uh, four stars on Yelp and a golf clap for that. Now let's uh, look at the collection itself, and honestly, I mean, not a whole lot that I can crap on you for here. Huh, thanks for that. Yeah, I mean, most of your designers are good ones. Most of your niche ones are good ones. The fragrance in the middle row to the far right sucks. Is that, is, is that a good roast? I don't think so. Yeah, Amber Oud Gold Edition. I don't like it. On to the next. Uh, next up we have Peter. Hey Ash, from the heart of Europe, I am sending a photo of my fragrance collection, or rather, my current rotation, as I change some of the frags every now and then for your merciless roasting. Take it easy, hope to see you break it down to ashes soon. Pun intended, oh, got him. Cheers, Peter from Prague. Uh, Prague, cool, I wanna go there. All right, Peter, let's see what you got. Let's see what you're working with. Once again, uh, I mean, you're doing a pretty good job here. It's, it's hard to uh, roast people into flames when they're not just making horrific mistakes. Maybe the Loewe Vey 7, maybe I would toss that just because uh, I hate all fragrances from that brand that come in that bottle, really just because I bought one and I, I thought that it smelled like just one of the most grotesquely, strangely sweet things I had ever smelled in my life, but it wasn't even that one, so I'm just being a, a player hater. I see that you love the Club de Nuit Intense Man. Got two of them, limited edition and the regular one. Just toss the regular one, keep the limited. Uh, you don't actually have to do that. Keep them both, spray them, spray them both on, layer them both, hell man. Spray 52 sprays of this stuff. Club de Nuit Intense Man for life. And uh, actually I've seen this pop up uh, with, with some regularity here on some of these collections over the past little while. A Prada Loam Intense. I've seen a lot of Prada Loam Intense. And that's something that I love. And I can get behind that. We need more Prada Loam Intense. Prada, I'm speaking actually to you now. You get you have a Prada Loam Intense, let's go. Enough of this junk trying to, trying to do away with the Loam line. I'm on to you guys, Prada. Peter, I like 
what you got going on here, except for your bottle of Chrome Extreme off to the right. You tried to hide it because it's a tester and it doesn't have the cap. It just has that stupid looking plastic little thing over the atomizer. You don't have to save $3 by getting the tester, just get the real thing. Then you don't have to hide it and act like you're embarrassed about it, you know? Narek Voskanyan. I, if I butchered that, my bad. Do samples count? Ha <laughs> ha. Roast it, praise it, do what you want with it. <laughs> okay. I got into fragrances six months ago, so the collection isn't huge. I'm not sure if I have every scent type covered, but I'm still growing. <laughs> you growing boy. Would appreciate it if you can recommend my next fragrance. I recommended your next fragrance at the beginning of the video. Uh, my top five favorites are the one Eau de Parfum, Ultra Mall, Icon Percival, and Ombre Leather. But honestly, I love all my fragrances. That's very sweet. Uh, I hope to get into one of your videos you just did. Keep up the good work. By the way, I'm sure you can tell how I got the bottle of Ombre Leather. Ah, it comes full circle. I talked about that earlier. All right, let's tag a lock. Hey, hey, you see the little, uh, the collection thing in the corner. That's what I was talking about. You know what? I'll link it in the description if it's still there. I don't know if it is. I'm going to assume it is. So samples, do they count? Um, not really, nah. It's like weird middle ground. It's like a gray area. It's kind of strange. It's like, do you own it? I don't know, not exactly but kind of, you can wear it until the sample's gone, so you kind of own it. The little dinky baby bottles have made a return. You see them there in the middle amongst their, their brethren. You were so close. All you had to do was put this on the bed. You guys are disappointing me. They're on the floor, they're on a shelf, they're on a, a cover. Put it on the bed. This is, this is Fragrance 101, everyone knows this. If you go on a Facebook or Reddit or wherever, it's on the bed. Now, as far as the collection goes, everything makes sense. And holy crap, Cool Water is there. At this point, I feel like Davidoff is just paying you dudes to like send me your collections for roasting and inserting Cool Water into every friggin' collection. Look, we're gonna send you Cool Water and a gift certificate to Olive Garden. All you gotta do, put it in there and send it in for the roast. We want people to see the Cool Water. We know he'll say something. But then you also have, uh, Zinho down there, more Davidoff. So maybe you're just a Davidoff fan. Maybe you like those cheap old school Davidoffs. Yeah, yeah, you know, I can't hate on you for it. Other than that, once again, you've done a good job. Dang, you guys need to send me some more of your Momo collections, just straight up stupidity. Instead, you're like looking competent. <sighs> What's up with that? I like the Lamal, I like the Ferragamo, I like the Azaro, I like it all. The Dunhill icon on the cheap. That's a really good one. Lunarosa Ocean, even the Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct, I can roll with. I'll do what I want with your collection later when nobody's looking. Jeff Malfar. Jeff Malfar, 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 Malfar. Thanks to your videos, my collection has blindly grown from my 2002 bottle of Aqua de Jo to this budget beast bundle. You got away with words. And also a 2002 bottle of Aqua de Jo. I'm right there with you, you know, that was my stuff. P.S. Had to include my dog in there because his name is also Ash. Oh, coolest dog ever. Ah, yeah, there he is. And he is cool. Oh man, this is kind of a sick little setup you got here. Oh, I'm not mad at it. Got a sick strat on the wall. Nice box amp. Looks like you have a nice view. Star Wars. Ah, hmm. Absolutely though, your collection is basically just like, you went to your local TJ Maxx, you went to, I don't know, Fragrance Buy or something, you looked over at the clearance section and you felt a little pitter patter in your heart. And you said to yourself, whoa, wait a second. You mean I can pay $80 for something that's really good quality or I can pay $80 and get multiple fragrances of questionable quality. <laughs> I know which one I'm picking. Honestly, though, the ones that you have there are uh, not bad. So once again, dang it. Come on, man. Get some worse stuff. I can see what you're doing here. You got the uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man and uh, either you had read online beforehand about the opening or you got it in, you sprayed it and you were like, this opening's kind of weird. Then you went online and you were like, how to improve Club de Nuit Intense Man opening. Oh, Demeter Pineapple. And boom, there they are. They're married, they're a couple. You've got Club de Nuit Intense Man and Demeter close to each other there. It's like a two for one. Solid clone action though. Each one of these clones highly regarded. So nothing to dunk on there. The Halston, I love that up in the corner right next to the Ralph Lauren. So, you know, and obviously Ash the cool dog 
is standing over on that side of the table because he knows what's up. He's smart. Oh, I see you're flexing your PlayStation back there too. I just noticed that. And then over on the opposite corner, uh, the old Fierce there, the discontinued Fierce that uh, Fragrance Buy got in. Yeah, I remember that because I scooped one up too. Jeff, you got a cool setup, man. Oh, also, I keep forgetting. I always want to say thank you to each person after I do the whole thing with their stuff and I forget. So everybody that submitted that I'm talking about, thank you. And everybody who I haven't talked about also, thank you. Maybe I'll talk about you at some point, you know? Hey Ash, love your YouTube channel. I've been collecting for close to a year now and would be delighted to have you roast my frag collection. Best wishes, Nate. Nate, let's see what you got going on. First off, Nate, I need to congratulate you. I think that you are the first person who has correctly put the fragrances on the bed. So thank you, Nate. And the bed is mostly clean. You've got, you know, like some stray hairs that have made their way onto the bed. And before we dive into the full collection here, I noticed the second picture that you submitted. So thank you for that. So as you can see, uh, it's a bottle of Dracar Noir, well regarded uh, as one of the greatest men's fragrances of all time. Everybody knows that. It's obvious it's Dracar Noir. Uh, and, and you have a, a wooden figure who appears to have a, a mighty uh, Johnson, yes, a, a humongous dong, just a wooden dong, yeah. And his face is freaking me out. Like, I, I don't know what's going on there. Absolutely looks like the type of fellow you do not want to see on the street at night. Yeah, something from my nightmares, frankly. Like something that steps out from the shadows in the corner of your room while you're trying to go to sleep. So I don't know if you're trying to say Dracar Noir equals big dong energy. If that's the case, I agree. If you're saying Dracar Noir equals creepy nightmare fuel man with a big pain, I don't know if I'm on board with that. Still interesting. Thank you for that. Let's look at the actual collection. Well, first off, yes, Dracar Noir does jump out at me, but we've already touched on that and I don't want to touch on it anymore. Cool water. Oh my God, there it is again. This is a conspiracy. This Everyone on earth owns cool water. Yes. Uh, I have that every man, Jack. I probably wouldn't include that in a collection. You know, it's just it's kind of kind of crappy. Just buy another bottle of your car noir and put it where that was. On the whole, you know, it's a, a collection of, of mainly cheapies, but these are cheapies that, uh, I can get behind. And I do like to see the B-Man, the Mugler B-Man right there on the uh, edge, the periphery of the fragrance collection. Just a nice random discontinued one thrown in there. So while you may have mini cheapies, you may have a bed with questionable hair, you may have a uh, nightmare fueled Pinor monster. The fact that you have Dracar Noir uh, gets you a pass, no more roasting of you. Well, there we go, friends. Uh, another roast in the books. Thank you, everyone that submitted your collection. Uh, thank you, Nate, for the future nightmares. If you want to be included in a future video, you know what to do. Jensense online at gmail.com. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. I can't speak.